Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on and do a project share today. I created an embellishment box and if you watched my video a couple weeks ago, you know that I was struggling to use these ephemera pieces. They are cream colored instead of white and next to a white ephemera piece, you can really tell the difference. So I did not want to mix the colors. Um, so I decided to make the ephemera or the um, embellishment box using the cream colors. So this piece of paper right here is from um, a crepe paper line a couple years ago. Uh, what is it called? All Heart? Heart Day, sorry. Um, and it had the cream colored background. So I thought it would be a perfect backdrop for it. Um, this is the embellishment box from Dollar Tree. It's the smaller one with the flat top. Uh, I used a little bit of washi tape on it here. Um, I have a little rosette underneath here. Popped up the butterfly. Um, I used these little, I think they're called stamen. Um, I was gifted a whole bunch of them in different colors and um, I just tucked some back here. I thought it was just a, a cute little way to use them up and um, add a little pop of color behind it. Uh, another piece of washi up here. I used two little pieces from the collection there. On the inside, I did um, cover this up. This has little grooves in it, um, so the things don't go from compartment to compartment, but I didn't have anything real small, so I wasn't worried about it. So I did decide to cover this, and it fits really tight. I do have to pop the cover down really tightly, but it's fine. Um, I was able to use more of, a, of the collection, and it looks nice. So that's that was all I was concerned about with this one. I uh, used a little bit more washi tape, a couple more pieces from that cream collection, and then I'll get into my goodies. So I really like doing the embellishment box with a bigger one from Dollar Tree that has the hump on the top. I'm so used to that. I like to just stuff it full of things. So I have to kind of get creative with these little ones. And um, I think I'm getting a getting a better handle of it, but I still... I, I still think that I want to fill it up more and the compartments are just too small. But anyway, so I'll take you through each compartment. I did pick up these little felt roses from Dollar General. There was 12 of them in a pack and I had gotten um, one pack as a gift. And um, so I just gifted two of those. I have a hot pink and a light pink here. Here I have some um, Baker's twine just wrapped around a thread holder there. And then I just have some puffy heart stickers in different colors that I cut apart and put in there. In this one, I have a sequin mix that I just combined a, a heart mix from Chaos Crafts on AliExpress with some hearts from Michaels. So that's what that one is. And then I put some little um, cut apart kind of uh, enamel dots in here. These are from Dollar Tree in the pastel color. I was able to gift quite a few of these different clothes or clothespins on um, paper clips, and there's two clothespins at the bottom. I went through my stash and just picked out anything that matched the color. So I have like these puppies, I have an arrow, I have some hearts, I have some regular paper clips. So I just put those in there, and um, I'm always happy to gift these because I don't use a ton of them. I do use some in my planner, but not not as many as I have. So I was happy to gift those. I have these two little tags. These are the last two from a pack that I bought. I wanna say it was from Dollar Tree probably two years ago. So I'm glad to be using those up. I have got a new um, paper flower die. So I had made some rolled flowers here in pinks and I'm just gifting her three of those. Um, this one has all uh, glittered foam hearts. So these are double-sided foam. They're not the stickers on the back. And then there's the two different sizes. Have those in there. Here I have another sequin mix and this one is conversation hearts and this is from Hobby Lobby. I've gotten this last year. Oops but they're really cute. They're all kind of holographic looking. Um, they all say love on them and they fit in this little container really nicely. So I packed that one up for her. And in, 
in this little uh, compartment with it, I put some conversation hearts. So I thought that would be cute because they they go with these conversation hearts. So I put those in. And the other roll is I've got these puffy, puffy hearts. Um, I'm not sure where those are from, but I put four of them in there. They fit nice and snug. I've got these cupcake stickers that I've had in my stash for a while and I'm happy to gift those. And then lastly, I have these butterfly beads that I used, I think, E6000 on. Um, they're little bulldog clips. I had these in my stash as well. Um, and I had made these to use in a planner at one point and I never ended up using them. So gift to those. So like I said, I um, was happy to use some of that collection up. I have more to go. Um, but this is the embellishment box. I'm thinking of doing some... Let's see if I can get it shut. There we go. I think I'm going to send along with it some straws. I have quite a collection of pink and red paper straws. So I think I'll just choose some to go along with it. I think I'll just do red. I'll just do a variety of these, um, these red ones. And um, also, what else was I going to do? I was going to set something else. Oh, I was thinking of sending some of these ephemera pieces along with it. Um, to use some of them up, thinking maybe she could use them, uh, my pen pal could use them in one of her crafting projects. So I was thinking of doing those two things as well, but I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to make sure that I got this done and I uh, wanted to show it to you guys. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll let you know where I got anything, if I can remember. Um, a lot of things in my Valentine collection are quite old. I took a break from paper crafting. I don't mean to get into a long story, but um, I had scrapbooked for quite a while when my kids were younger. And then, um, you know, we were just really busy running them around with sports and things. And now they're a little bit older and things have slowed down. So I got back into paper crafting, but I have a lot of um, stash left. So I'm trying to buy less and use more. So um, if I think that it's still available somewhere, if I can find something similar, I would be happy to link it for you below. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.